Hello and welcome to the Photography and Videography channel. I'm Nigel Cooper and today I'm looking at something that's going to appeal to video producers who do home editing and voiceover work as well as YouTubers, podcasters and musicians. I'm talking about the Samsung G-Track Pro USB microphone which comes in at around £179. I'll put a link in the description below so you can check it out but before I get too far into this video I do just want to say that since taking delivery of this mic I've been so impressed with it it is now my number one go-to microphone and it's the microphone that I'm going to be using for all my personal voiceover work and for doing videos like this in the future. Okay a little bit about the technical specifications of the mic being a USB microphone means it's got a built-in audio interface so you don't have to go spending extra money on something like a Focusrite which is something you'd normally have to do when using a standard XLR microphone. In addition to that it's a very versatile microphone because it has three different polar patterns. As well as a standard cardioid pattern it's also got a bi-directional figure of eight pattern and an omnidirectional polar pattern as well. It's got a recording resolution of either 16 or 24 bits at up to 96 kilohertz with a frequency range of 50 hertz to 20 kilohertz and a maximum sound pressure level of 120 decibels. Now Samsung do a dedicated pop shield for this which just clips on at the top and it looks very neat. It comes in at under 20 pound but it is only a single layer piece of material but Samsung also make these which are dual layer. It's got material on the front and on the back to basically work even more effectively. Um, both the um, Samsung pot shields are the PSO5 and the PSO4 and they actually come in at under £20 also. Now in a minute I'm actually going to unscrew this microphone from the base so that I can demonstrate the proximity effect of these different polar patterns. At the moment the microphone that you're actually hearing is this Rode Wireless Go that I've got clipped on here but in a minute I'm going to plug this in via USB so I can give you some demonstrations. Now the reason I want to unscrew it off the base is because as I turn the microphone around to demonstrate the proximity effect it's quite hard with this base on here so I'm going to unscrew it so that I can demonstrate that better. Um, it also means that you can unscrew this from the base if you want to mount it into a suspension mount or have it on one of those desk boom arms for example. So without further ado let me just unscrew this from the base, plug in the USB cable and then you can hear how that sounds compared to the lav mic that I'm wearing here. Okay so I've now removed the microphone from the stand and I'm now hand holding it approximately six inches from my face. I'm sorry there's no pop shield on here at the moment so excuse any little pops but I need to have no pop shield to be able to do this demonstration and also because I'm hand holding the microphone you might hear some bumping noises as my fingers move around the mic as I turn it around to demonstrate this proximity effect. So right now I'm in the standard cardioid mode which is the pattern that most of us will use probably 95% of the time. This is a polar pattern that you'll be using for doing voiceover work or gaming or singing or YouTube videos or podcasting etc. So what I'm going to do now I'm going to flick it over into the figure of eight mode. Okay I'm now in the figure of eight mode and you may have heard just then that the sound characteristics change a little bit because what the microphone is now set up to do is pick up a voice from the front and from directly behind at the same time while rejecting sounds from the side which I'll now demonstrate. So as I turn the microphone around you'll hear that when it gets to the side my, my voice will get quieter and as I keep going around to the back it will suddenly pick up again and my voice will become full volume. As I keep turning around to the side there will be more vocal rejection and then as I come back around to the front it will be the full sound again. So that mode is the figure of eight mode and this is ideal for when you're doing interviews of somebody who may be sitting across a table so that the interviewer can be on this side and the interviewee at the back and it will pick up both voices at the same volume level. Okay now I'm going to switch it into the omnidirectional mode. I'm now in omnidirectional and in this pattern it's designed to pick up sound from all around the microphone from the front, back and sides which I will now demonstrate. So as I turn the microphone around when it gets to the side you'll hear that it's still picking up my voice and as I go around to the back it continues to pick up my voice. As I come around to the other side my voice continues at the same level and then back to the front where I started from. So that's the omni pattern. Now I'm just going to flick it back into the cardioid mode. Oh actually I, I forgot to mention before doing that in this omni pattern this is an ideal polar pattern to have when you have maybe a conference with several people seated around a table and you can put the microphone in the middle of the table and it's going to pick up everybody's voice at the same volume level. Okay so I'm now going to go back into cardioid mode 
and here we are back in cardioid mode again this is a polar pattern that we will be in most of the time for doing most of our voiceover work okay i'm just going to quickly go through the switches on the microphone and the uh, various inputs um, to show you exactly what's going on here so um, on the left i've already mentioned we've got the polar pattern selector switch which um, chooses from figure of eight to cardioid in the middle and omnidirectional to the right and on the right hand side we have a mono and two track switch now what that does is um, if you're a musician for example and you plug a guitar into this back input here what it will do is it will basically mix the vocals that have been recorded to the microphone and the guitar down onto one track when it's in mono mode if you put it into two track mode it will put the vocals from the microphone and the instrument on the back onto two separate tracks which makes editing easier on the front here also we have the mute button which is self-explanatory that just mutes the microphone at the top we've got the mic input gain so this is like setting the input level for the microphone the middle one is the instrument gain if you have an instrument plugged in on the back here and finally at the bottom you have the volume which is for if you have headphones plugged in at the back now while I'm around the back here you've also got this monitor on off switch if you turn monitor on you actually get late, zero latency monitoring through these two inputs here in terms of the build quality this microphone is built like a tank it is solid metal really heavy duty the base is really heavy and solid it's got this rubberized bit on the bottom to help eliminate vibrations um, the mesh on the top here uh, to cover the capsule is industrial this is the heaviest most solid microphone i have ever tried um, the way it comes off the bottom i really like this too it just unscrews here so you just unscrew this section and the microphone just lifts out so you don't have any screw holes to the sides here um, which you may be uh, forgiven for thinking when you look at the pictures of it but it does actually unscrew from this bottom section here okay so now i've got the samsung microphone mounted on this desk boom arm with a pop shield in place and the reason i wanted to do this vocal demonstration is because earlier on when i was doing the proximity test i was holding the microphone in my hand and it could have picked up some bumping noises and even some popping noises but now i've got the pop shield in place and it's properly mounted on the boom arm that will eliminate it so i'm now doing a test recording using the samsung g-track pro microphone with my mouth approximately five or six inches away from the microphone itself with the pop shield in place just so you can hear the quality of this microphone testing one two three four five okay so that brings me to the end of this video review i've been looking at the samsung g-track pro usb microphone one that i highly recommend i hope you enjoyed this review i'm nigel cooper this is the photography and videography channel and as usual i hope to see you again real soon